There it is. <laughs> Soak her in, baby. Soak her in. There's only one reason we are playing this beautiful masterpiece. My partner in crime, Anthony Jimenez. There's only one reason, and one reason only, baby, because real sports are back in action. Yes, fucking sir. Ha la There's a degenerate in you. There's a degenerate in me. There's a degenerate in everybody, and degenerates are us is back and going to be fully loaded, baby. Thank God. Finally, Anthony, sports are back. They're coming back in less than a month. How you feeling? How we doing? I'm feeling fucking fantastic. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. We're, uh, what is it, three months too late now. But, um, you know, hey, we got one more month, and then we'll, we'll get rolling. We'll get rolling. But we got some good content for you all today. Absolutely, man. We're ready to roll into it because we got some great news, obviously, off the rip. Two sport one, um, and I know you know in your position at Capital One, kind of what tentatively means. <laughs> uh, you know. Don't be, don't be, don't be blasting my position out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why. That's why we can edit that out. We can edit that out. We can totally edit that out. But uh, no, I know you know in your position that you do. Um, that tentatively is never completely comforting, but we'll take what we can get right here. As the NBA is tentatively returning July thirty first, and what essentially is going to be the top twenty two teams, Anthony. Um, so 11 from each division. I think there's actually a little bit more when I was looking in the West and there is the East um, just because essentially the way they're doing it is they're allowing the teams that were a couple games behind the eight seed to go ahead and roll in and still get a shot. They're going to play the last eight games of the season for all those teams um, with eight teams out. We don't have to go over those teams. Who cares about those teams? They're dead in the water. They're zombies. Who knows if their franchise will even survive all this? With that being said, um, yeah, NBA is back. How you feeling, baby? Hey, my Wizards are in, right? <laughs> the Wiz Kids are in. The Wiz Kids are in. And just a warning ahead of time. That's the only team in the East, right? That's the only team in the East. That's the only everybody team. else is in the West Coast because of the games like you mentioned. I mean, as far as I can see, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Wizards are the only team representing the East, so they're already in the finals. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> feeling good, though. I'm feeling good. Um, like you said, sports are coming back. It sounds like it sounds like NBA is going to be the first to return, um, other than, you know, your, your favorite league, the Bundesliga. Um, Bundesliga! But <laughs> I'm sorry for putting, any Germans for totally bit of action. that. Put, uh, we've been putting season. a little bit of action on the Bundesliga in the meantime, but uh, I think we're <laughs> – I think we're pumped to have, you know, NBA back and then uh, NHL looks like it's coming back too, probably around the same time. So, yeah. uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see, but it's looking good. It's looking promising. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. And yes, you, you did mention that there were some others. I said sports are coming back in about a month, at least sports we care about are coming back in about a month. Exactly. Um, as yeah, the but and don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on the Bunslinga. I love my me some Bunslinga. Um, I, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the names, but the soccer and the b-ball coming back baby has been regenerizing instead of me having to bet on fucking korean baseball i said i hit you up when this <laughs> happened like two weeks ago i said anthony do we do an episode on bunsling it you're like joe we're, <laughs> we're gonna Four, wait a couple <laughs> 4 30 in the morning get a text saying you know we got some action i'm sweating over in korean baseball league <laughs> I said, well, why do we not do a whole show on this? I don't understand why we yeah, don't do weekly no, no, no. Korean baseball <laughs> shows. It's it's ignorant. It's it's entertaining stuff, baby. The people need it. But <laughs> I guess I get it. With that being said, um, we'll get into the specifics of what the NHL is doing. But NBA is back, as we mentioned, and that that is my my sport I'm most excited about. Not a knock on the NHL at all. I just I love my uh, NBA, baby. And who you got? Who you got? Who's your gridiron lock? Can't buy it down at Home Depot for this tournament for coming back, baby. Man, I'm going to go with the Lakers, honestly. I mean, I'm a LeBron fan. I want to see him win, but I, I, think, I think they've got it. I think he's a, they've he's got it. He's a save better, ladies and gentlemen. That's why – I mean, one thing you'll find out as this show goes on, Anthony is the, <laughs> is the conservative safe lock. He's going to get you your not, money. Not all the time, but, I mean, in, in this case, in this case, I think – I mean, obviously, like, you throw around the names like the Bucks and the, and the Clippers, and, I mean, they're all going to – they're all going to compete and it's going to get like, you know, real close, but I just, I don't know. I feel like the Lakers have it this year. Um, you know, I think, I think LeBron's super focused. It's not to say everybody else is not, but I just, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like they've got it. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm going with the Lakers. That's my gut. Uh, what do you, I mean, do you see, you don't see, I mean, some of the worries with that team coming in, right? 
and, and I'll just address a little. And it's the typical mainstream bullshit of, you know, this is the chemistry, right? Yeah, well, they all be able to play like that for everything. Oh, just Anthony Davis. Blah, blah, blah. And, <laughs> and it's Kyle Kuba. Really? Yet, I mean, are you worried about any of that? Do you see this team, I mean, especially with some months off, do you see this affecting what's already kind of some eh, admittedly layering issues with the Lakers? I mean, I'm not really. I mean, so the way I look at it, at least on the Western side, um, first you got to look at talent, right? So it's the top two teams talent-wise are the Clippers and the Lakers, right? Right. The Clippers and the Lakers, the core of their team really came together this past offseason. So you have two teams that are pretty much in the same boat chemistry-wise. And then you, you, you factor in experience and you put LeBron. I mean, obviously he's got the most playoff experience out of anybody really in the whole league. So I think that he's going to get his guys, you know, real ready. Um, I mean, for that reason, talent-wise, chemistry-wise, like I said, being in the same boat, I think that the Lakers have a shot to make it to the finals. Um, I mean, you brought up a good point for chemistry. Um, you know, obviously the Bucks have been together, their core, for a number of years now. So, you know, with that, they might have the advantage. Um, I mean, I think that they're definitely going to come out of the East. So, I mean, I, I mean, I know it's a lot of people's favorites, but I really do. I think I have the Lakers and the, and the Bucks um, in the finals. Um, I think that they're doing the they're they're doing the East and West format again. Like it's not the top sixteen and they they reseed or something like that. Because I know hockey's doing that. Right. But um, if they stick to the standard yeah, format, that, East right. and West, I think it's going to be Bucks and Lakers. Um, I mean, the Bucks will give them a shot. I mean, like you said too, uh, in regards to the chemistry, I think that the Bucks do have good chemistry, but I just think the Lakers. I don't know. I just feel like it's their year. You will see, man. And I mean, kind of after I'm knocking you on a conservative take, I'm almost with you. As we know, Anthony, like I said, Anthony's the one that's going to make you that slow, steady money. And I'm either going to put it all in the gutter with you, baby, or I'm going to be able to have you pay that first down payment in your uh, right, right, house, right? right? So, uh, right. <laughs> but here I am going to go a little conservative, man. Uh, NBA is where I do actually make my mo- most of my money, either that or college basketball. Um, yeah, I, I'd like the Bucks and the clip here. Here's why. Now, I, I think the, the clip, again, that was some, another team, especially, I believe, around Christmas time, January, right before all this went down, there was a lot of stories coming out, same kind of thing. Well, uh, players are getting jealous that Kawhi and Paul are getting special treatment. Ram, ram, ram. I, I don't see that. I mean, if you look at certain players on that team, like a Lou Williams, like that, that guy, if you know his story, you know his background, that guy's a grinder. He's a team player. He's not going to sit there and complain. He wants a ring, period. That's it. I, and when you saw Kawhi and how he gets a team together last year in the playoffs, man, and I get it, you, you're basically facing a, a blundered Warriors. But at the same time, man, I mean, I think he, it's really special how he gets together. I think, again, they, they dominated the Lakers. I mean, see – Series was even, I think, by the end. But for the most part, I think Kawhi had LeBron's number all day. I see Clippers Bucks here when it all comes out, and I see the Bucks though. As much as I'm talking about the Clippers coming mm-hmm. out for exactly what you're talking about, and again, when you're right, a degenerate, right, right. when you're trying to win a championship, both things ring true, and that is chemistry. When you when you're a degenerate picking your team, you want you want that team to have chemistry. You feel a lot better in your log, and I think the Bucks are exactly that, man. I, I feel you. I feel you. It's the Greek Freaks year. He's going to slam it on down. Um, and to do a uh, racial stereotype, you know, that's probably not popular right now. They're all going to have some gyros to celebrate that NBA final <laughs> Joke, boo. Joke, boo. But, yeah, baby, you no. Know, I'm feeling really good about that. That That's my lock. But uh, you want to take us in what the hell the NHL is doing here, Anthony? Hey, let's, let's, let's hit a quick pause real quick. Um, I know we're going to get into – our little side bet that we have, but let's, let's make another side bet. Let's make another side bet. Love it. Love it. I got, I got Lakers. Okay. You got Bucks. Done. We'll just do, we don't have to worry about the matchups, any of that. So, I mean, if neither of the teams make it, the bet's off, but I got Lakers winning. You got Bucks. What do you want to do? We got a degenerates or us team partner bet. I Here feel like, I feel like this is even odds. Like it doesn't have to be like one to two, yeah. anything like that. Let's do, I'll throw I'll throw fifty on it. I'll throw fifty on Lakers. I like I like that. I think a clean fifty for it. Although fifty doesn't fifty doesn't get me out of bed in the morning. You know the government <laughs> is, is paying us. Um, uh-huh. Me currently being on unemployment. Um, besides podcasting with the boys is uh, getting about a thousand a week. So let's let's okay. say a hundred. You feeling good at a hundred? Okay, we can do that. I like it. I like it. Spice right. things up a bit. Uh, I mean, I believe what's our, and we'll get to the bet, our other bet in a minute, but what is, uh, we have the four to one payout there, and that's a 25 to 100. Right? Four to one. No, no, no. Three to one. Three to one. Flip, 
pull it back from the last two episodes. <laughs> That's what a degenerate does uh, very well, yeah, baby. So you're you're a degenerate expert. Here. I snuck one trying in real scheme. quick. <laughs> Good yeah, deflection, bitch. Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'd yeah. have been real with you, but yeah. So, all right, all right. You know, I'm good with that. We'll go ahead and virtual shake on that. Um, yeah, right there. We locked in, baby, locked in. But uh, break us down. What's go- What's going on in the NHL? What are they kind of thinking? Um, I know right now they're entering in phase three, and they're they're hoping, which is essentially they're just training right now. They're doing setting up training camps. Um, it sounds like they're kind of doing a round robin, the top eight, like you said, style tournament. You you want to take us through that a little bit? I think that's what they're doing, right? So they're doing yeah. – um, like they're doing the top – well, so you said that's 22 teams, I believe, or is it 24? One it, of the two. I believe it – I think it's 20 – I think it's 24, 24 to be 24, honest. 24, yeah. 22 for the NBA, 24 for NHL. And so they're doing like a like the first four seeds, the top four get a bye or whatever, and then yep. every round they're going to reseed. So this is different than standard NHL playoffs. So that's going to be interesting, Very obviously. Different. I think that'll be cool, um, real intriguing. I think that they said – I don't know if they dropped an official date for when they're going to start, but I think they're targeting around, like, end of July, too. Um, so it'll be interesting to see which comes back first, NBA or NHL. Um, but, no, it's going to be interesting, honestly. I mean, last year's hockey playoffs – and I don't follow hockey like that, but, um, like, last year's hockey that. playoffs was pretty crazy because, like, all the top seeds pretty much got out, like, in the first couple rounds. Yep. Um, or at least most of them. So, I Knights, mean, it's going to be – yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see, like, the dynamic this year and see how that plays out. Um, if I had to pick a winner, and, again, I don't really follow hockey like that. And, again, um, uh, I want to say, if I could just interject for a moment, Anthony, we said on the first episode of this show, we will have some weak hockey takes. Just know that. We're, we're yeah, very comfortable yeah, yeah. with all our other sports. Anthony's got the golf covered, not so much me. But those top three that you're going to be gambling on, mostly we got, like, hockey – not exactly in our wee house, but we'll still give you those degenerate takes. Right, right. Not exactly. That have I mean, made us some good. We'll, we'll give you, yeah, we'll give you some, we'll give you some weak takes. We'll give you some weak takes. But um, <laughs> honestly, I, know, I, honestly, I think yeah, I, the, the way that I look at it, I look at like what teams were playing pretty hot towards the end of the layoff or whatever you want to call it. Um, so from the West, I'll probably say the Avalanche. I know yeah. they weren't like a top, top team, but I think they've been playing real well. Um, so I'll give you Avalanche on the Western Conference side. From the East, I hate to say it, I might have to go with the Penguins um, just because they've been – their core has been together for a while. Our local um, degenerates, our us listeners out. are fucking break, breaking out, uh, their hearts right now. They're, shout they're, out they're D-Mike if their wall, baby. D-Mike, if you're listening, if you're listening, <laughs> D-Mike. Um, no, nah, but honestly, D-Mike I think the Penguins, the Penguins nice. could get it. Um, or, I mean – local but I mean I'm going with the caps too I think those are probably the top two in the the east but I mean we'll see it'll be interesting to play out for sure I don't know if I'm going to put any money on it though yeah I'm not feeling too hot about it I mean I like I like the avalanche a lot from little hockey I do watch they seem like an incredibly explosive team and they they definitely uh I definitely like watching them play a lot to get into that um in terms of who I like coming out of there I like I know it's near impossible to do in hockey I think it's harder than any other sport is from what I hear to repeat, but I think the blues got a good shot. If they're going to do it. I really like that team a whole lot. Once again, yeah. top dog. I know what happens with these top dogs once they repeat, but um, I'm hoping this time around history does not repeat itself. And we got, we got something good coming out of the blues. And then again, not exactly the hottest takes, but I'm going caps because I got to, because home bias and, and, and they made me money go. back in 2018 when I just rode them all the way with the home team bias. Sometimes it works. Same thing with the nationals last year, baby. I'm going to do it again. Um, I will have a let's little go. money on this one. You got it. Yeah, let's do it. That's cool. Nah, but I don't know if I'm going to put money on it, but those are, those are my takes. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But something we do got money on, baby, and something that is very important that all the degenerates, our us listeners, are waiting by the heels to figure out how this is going to play out. And I'm telling you, I'm feeling pretty good because I don't think the MLB knows what the fuck they want to do. I, they are dragging their feet. They continue to be confused. They lay out another uh, deal to the Players Association. The Players Association says, oh, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't I- like this whole couch deal. Yo, but I think that's a good thing, honestly. I think that's a good thing because pretty much what that does is, I mean, from my understanding, at least, I could be wrong, but, um, like, they're not countering offers anymore, so they're not going to keep going back and forth, right? So, at this point, pretty much the MLB is saying, like, either, like, you give us a start date to the season, you give us, 
whatever prorated amount of salary you want to give us and we either accept or we decline. Like we're not wasting our time countering anymore. So I think that's going to make the MLB, like the owners be like, okay, like we either have a season or we don't. And I mean, let's be real. Neither side want to has, want, wants to have no season. So mm-hmm. I think that, I think that it might be good news again. I mean, from my understanding. Um, so, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I know, I know our bet we had, I had MLB coming back first. You had NFL from all these all these negotiations with MLB and all the counter offers and all that. It's not looking good, but the way that I look at it, the coffee bet is looking good now, Anthony. The way that I look at it is the NFL, no matter what, they're not going to start until like September. MLB the only reason they would not start in September or or before September is if they have no season and I really don't see that happening. So, I'm I'm feeling good about my bet still. I'm feeling good about it. Just like you were feeling good about that Charles Schwab tournament bet. We'll get to that here in a little bit. But <laughs> but what you, you proposed to me you in the did. outline, I was disgusted <laughs> by. You said, do we throw this bet off the table? Absolutely not, because the bet was which two sports out of MLB or NFL come back first. Okay. And, and, and that's it. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I, I'll say this as well. I, I, I want a clarification, and I'll go back and listen to the episode if need be. Did we clarify in terms of what return exactly means? Like if we're <laughs> if we're in training camp, is no, that no, return? No, I'm, I'm not taking. I'm not taking that. I'm not. Taking I'm sorry. That. I've, been, I've been drinking a little bit of scumbag with my coffee this morning. Right. I right. I can tell. No. 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 I mean, it's it's a good question because I don't think we clarified, but I mean, no, we didn't. We're doing we're doing first game like first regular season game. <laughs> We're not doing, He's gonna check out the term of the contract there, buddy. Yeah, we're not doing all season Zoom workouts or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I saw yeah, I saw Patrick Mahomes had a lot yeah. of off season IG stories, baby. He was working hard. I mean, because you you'd already win that bet because because I've seen Kirk Cousins working out in his parents' driveway and shit. So we're taking we're taking that off the table. Not, I will never doing, forget doing workouts. Quick quick little uh, quick little story time too. Um, before we continue on with the show, I want to take you back to I believe 2012, Anthony. Just mm-hmm. a little fun anecdote. And Kirk Cousins was on uh, Lindsay. Uh, what was her name? They used to do, uh, used to work over at ESPN. She was a local news reporter, Lindsay. Oh my God, Lindsay Zarniak. She's so Lindsay Zarniak. Okay, she had her like uh, six, six fun facts at six with some random athlete every week. And one of them, one week it was fucking Kirk. Had to be Kirk after the I like it week. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I never wanted somebody not to be my quarterback more in my whole entire life when this man comes on and literally sings half of my girl. <laughs> my girl talking about my girl i'm like dog that's i did cool. not see that but that's oh my god <laughs> that's great buddy i'm so proud of you but let's just keep that at church you know what i'm saying like right you're going against grown men on sunday that <laughs> yeah like <laughs> you're singing my girl that. come on you cannot bro. be doing that man come on <laughs> Let's shift to golf, man. Let's shift to golf. <laughs> Let's shift to golf. Speaking of questionable, well, I won't even say questionable decisions because I say your decisions were pretty sound. It was, again, an Anthony Gridiron lock bet, in my opinion. Can't buy it at Home Depot. Um, well, tell us what happened at the, well, the first, I believe, yeah, first PGA tournament event back of the year since this whole mess. Man, I mean, I don't know. I mean, so – what I do, and I don't bet on every golf tournament, but I mean, the first one back, you had to put some money on it, right? So right, I looked down I looked down the list of the odds and I was like, all right, like, you know, who in the last like few events or, you know, a few months, whatever, like who was playing well, who's always like towards the top of the leaderboard, who's, who's getting hot, whatever, right? So I put money on, I think I put money on like four golfers. Um, usually I do three, but I just did four, whatever. So I did, um, I did... John Rahm, I did Finau because he came in second from the last turn, like last year's tournament. I'm looking at it. Right now. Um, I did Shoffley, and then I yep. did uh, Morikawa. Yep. And yep. so I was feeling good, you know. I mean, if I lost, I lost what forty bucks. Cause I think I put like ten dollars on each on each one. Okay. Um, so I was like, you know, whatever. If if I lose, I lose. But I was like, you know, I feel like you know at least one of them is going to be in contention come Sunday. That's all you can ask for, right? You're you're putting so, your toes back in the water for real sports, right? Right. And so like pretty much the whole, the whole week, Morikawa and Shoffley were like floating around the top 10. 
they both had good rounds on Saturday. So they were like, I think they were like both tied for like one and two or Shoffley was number one heading into Sunday. Morikawa was like tied for second or tied for fifth, something like that. And then come the end of the day, like they're, they're both at the top. They're like both minus 15. I'm feeling good. Right. I'm about to make some money. I threw a live bet on Shoffley just to even out the odds. Cause Morikawa was like plus four, 4,000 Shoffley was like plus 28. So then I threw yeah. some live odds on Shoffley just to be even on what I win. If I win, cause I was feeling good. Right. Right. And Let's go all in now, baby. I called it. I yeah, saw it. I see the future. They're both minus 15 heading into like the 15th hole. I think more call was like two holes ahead of him, but you know what I mean? Like they're both minus 15. There's like three or four people at minus 14, but they're pretty much all done. A couple people at minus 13. So it's literally like between these two. And then some fucking guy, Berger, comes in. Berger's the last hole. He gets to minus 15. He gets to minus 15. Morikawa has two holes left, I think. Shalfley has like four holes left. So it's like, okay, all you got to do is get one birdie, either of them. And and they both fall apart. They both fall apart. And, you know, (laughs) somehow this guy, Berger, gets in. Um and it's a playoff with Morikawa. And I was like, all right, you know. I mean, Burr, been killing still middle-aged men for years now, baby. Annoying as shit. And then, you know, Morikawa hits a, a, a rough one off the tee and, and lands in some rough behind a tree. And he gets out and he has a par putt. <sighs> well, I and remember Berger, that. Berger got out for par. Um, and he saved par, too, because he had a, um, a difficult chip on his third shot. And so then Morikawa has a par putt to extend the playoff. Mm -hmm. he's got to be within 10 feet it's probably like six or seven feet you know how the cameras are like so zoomed into the ball and the hole and i'm I'm watching i'm watching and i'm like (laughs) i'm like okay he's gonna miss for two reasons he's gonna miss because one Uh, i'm not gonna win my first i'm not gonna win my first golf bet back let's just be honest right that's like one reason and two he is like clearly with the camera and you gotta i mean i play a little bit of golf i'm not a golf expert but he's not lined up right He's like he's he's aiming, he's aiming middle, and you could see that it was going left a little bit. So I'm like, all right, he's gonna miss it right. And what it happens? He just misses right. And so I was like, I wasn't that even, is the I wasn't ultimate. You mad. do that to yourself. I wasn't even I wasn't even mad honestly because I was just like I saw it coming. I saw it coming. But well, you did that to you yourself. Know. It's it's the classic like oh the over's gonna hit now with but, you know or the I mean, you know there's no way the under's gonna hit. Then boom, Patrick Mahomes scores 21 points in the fourth quarter. But honestly, I mean. Yeah, like I lost money and all that, which sucks because I was like this close to fucking winning like 400 or 500, whatever it was. And, you know, I mean, but at, at the same time, it's like, okay, I, I got I got like literally like out of the whole field of golfers, 70, 80 people like, okay, cool. Like I got the top three, two of the top three. So I'll take it, you know, I'll take it, whatever. But, but Anthony, at the end of the day, do you remember what the, the quote that I love so much that I've been using this whole entire quarantine? That we said when this whole thing started, when we started to have to do our Zoom recording sessions. What was that quote? What was that quote you said? You got to remind me, man. You got to uh, remind me. I'd be happy to it's do been, it. It's been a couple weeks. Or happy even to do it. So. I would gladly lose. I would gladly lose any type of bet right now just to have that losing feeling on, <laughs> on real sports. Anthony, you now got that, it this weekend. Now that sports are back, now that sports are returning and all that, I got that feeling or whatever out i'm not trying to lose anymore man i'm trying to win i'm trying to win some money <laughs> yeah now we're back to doing what we do best yeah. baby yeah degenerates are us is back and on their whole grind and that is win all the time man i'm excited for all these best to finally come back and i got one last message before we go before we ride out here today one anthony i don't have to bet on fucking video games anymore i feel like i've been this is like it's not it hasn't been hell but it's like the quarantine almost feels like what purgatory's been like you see my reaction button right here in the Zoom? I'm happy for you. I'm clapping. I'm clapping. There we go. There we go. No I'm out of purgatory, games. baby. Yes. I'm there out of go. purgatory, which is 100% gambling on video games. That's what purgatory has to be. There we go. I'm happy for you. We are back betting on real sports. Brad, we are going to shut down your business. I promise you that. We're finally, mission kill Brad. Brad, you are over. Kill all our bookies. We're going to be finding a new bookie soon. Brad, you better tremble in your goddamn boots, baby. We're coming back. We're here to make all the degenerates, our us listeners, money. And, again, just collect Brad's tears. With that being said, go ahead and record right now at Four Corners Radio if you want to join the fantastic group. That is, of course, Degenerates Are Us, free therapy.
face of the franchise. Last night, guys, hooping and hollering, five holers, bread and butter, join us all. Or don't fuck off. You're lost, baby. <laughs> well, <that's so laughs> With that being said, if you haven't stayed at La Quinta N, I recommend if you want to lose all your hopes and dreams, you do so. Anthony, anything else to add before we out? You're running up La Quinta's uh, stock price. There we go. <laughs> you know we're going to get a sponsorship in, uh, somehow, baby. What's it, what's it, it called? In, uh, in, um, why, am I, why am I blanking on the name? Um, the... The Barstool Sports uh, uh, podcast. I, what is their name again? Uh, are you thinking Caller Daddy? Are you thinking Pardon no, My Take? Pardon My Take. Pardon My Take. I don't know why I was blanking on that. Every, uh, every Anthony, episode, they'll like be a like. Caller Daddy fan. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, in every episode, they'll be like, all right, we're going to invest in like some companies in the Cash App or whatever. So you got you to gotta get like, you know, you got to get La Quinta to sponsor. You just gave them some free promo. I'm telling you, you want us to take off bigger than Barstool, La Quinta, let's make a partnership of a lifetime. It's going to be like peanut butter and jelly. It's going to be like beer and pizza. Let's do it. You need us. We don't really need you, but we'll take you skyrocketing. Fuck Hilton Hotels. Don't don't listen to him. We need you. We need all all of you. We need all of you. (laughs) We do need you. We need you. You might need us a little bit too, but uh, yeah, baby. La Quinta in. Sponsored Degenerates Are Us. We'd love it. Come next meeting. We got it. (laughs) <laughs> again loved your fruit loop intercontinental breakfast with that being said real sports are back uh degenerates are us is back and in full swing like we were meant to be uh anthony with that being said i think we out yes sir we out